Tummy worm has been a major pest in the Americas, actually for decades, for even centuries, I would say, because the, it has been there from what we know since the 17th or the 18th century. But then it was reported as a major pest first around 1964, when the devastation uh, became very pronounced. We came to know that in a few countries in Africa, uh, fall armyworm is present. And where it is present, it can attack quite a number of crops. It has uh, favorite crops and host in maize, in rice, in sorghum, in millet, beans, cowpeas, vegetables. Army worms have been found in more than 35 sub-Saharan African countries in the past year and are now threatening millions of farmers in Asia after the first reported infestation in India. They mainly feast on maize, but they attack 80 other crops, including sorghum, cotton, rice, and sugarcane. It's a, a really serious threat. It's been estimated that it could cause 20 to 50 percent crop losses so the, of the maize crop, which is the main subsistence cereal crop which the farmers are, and, and the population in general are relying on for their food supply. At Keele University in England, Toby Bruce and his team are taking a multi-pronged approach to fighting the pest. We're looking at the crop variety, seeing if we can get more resistant crops. Then um, secondly, we're looking for repellent intercrops that can be used as, as a kind of push to, to, to push the pest away. And then we're also looking for attractive track crops. That's the third thing. So, so you can divert the, the insect to, to another area away from the crop. And um, fourthly, we're trying to increase the abundance of the, of, of the natural enemies. So, so these are the predators which, uh, which, which attack, the, attack the pest. They're hoping to amplify the chemical that plants release when they're attacked by army worms. The pest predators tune into that. They, they use those odors for, for finding their prey. And um, we, we, want, we want to improve that so that we can have uh, varieties that um, better at attracting these natural enemies and um, increasing the biological control that way. Meanwhile, African farmers are removing the pests by hand and using homemade remedies like a solution of water, pounded chili pepper and salt to repel the worms. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.